Hello, my wonderful friends. First of all, I want to say happy summer to you, my friends. It has been a very weird school year and you made it. Oh my goodness, you made it to the summer. Congratulations, especially congratulations to my friends who are going up to a bigger grade. Oh man, they don't know what's going to happen, but I am so very proud of you for getting here. Mr. DJ never had to have school online like this, so I am really, really thinking you guys are superheroes for doing what you did this year. Congratulations. I didn't even introduce myself, if you don't know. I'm Mr. DJ. This is my pal Spikey, and as we always do, I am going to share another wonderful story with you today to kick off our ooh, cool summer because we made it through the school year. Today, I've got a really super fantastic book for you. And it's not quite like any book Mr. DJ has read to you before. Well, that's not quite true. There's a lot of things that are similar about this book we're gonna read today and some of the stories we shared. It features a beautiful black and brown family. And we've read lots of books like that. You know we like that in our library. And it's all about being a big brother. We have read books like that as well. Mr. DJ is a big brother, so you know I gotta read books about big brothers, you know, big brothers, what's up? And it's also about discovering who you really are inside. And we've read books like that. Why, I just read Beaky the other day, and that's all about figuring out who you really are inside. So it's kind of similar to some of the other stories we've read, but our book is a little different because it features a character that is transgender. What does transgender mean? Well, let me get into the story we're going to read and we will talk about it. Today, we are going to read a book that is called When Aiden Became a Brother by Kyle Lukoff and Kehlani Juanita. So obviously, this is Aiden, this is his family, and I think this is the baby who is going to be the big brother too. When Aiden Became a Big Brother. Now, I said before that one of the characters, Aiden, is transgender. What does that mean? Well, for Aiden, that means that when he was born, everyone thought he was a girl. Everyone thought he was a girl. They even put him in dresses. They had his hair all out in, you know, a way that you might dress a girl's hair, you know, because they were convinced, his parents were convinced, his family, everybody was convinced he was a girl. But Aiden knew inside he was a boy, just like our friend Beaky was a bird of paradise, but everyone tried to say, oh, Beaky, you're a frog, Beaky, you're a snake, Beaky, you're a fish. Well, Aiden knew he was a boy, and luckily, Aiden's got a very loving family who figured it out with him, and he was able to live as a boy finally, you know, after some years of, you know, people treating him like a, a girl. So, when Aiden's mom decided to have another baby, Aiden got a little nervous. He thought, what if the same thing that happened to me happens to the baby? What if the baby knows who they are, but everyone else thinks they are someone else? It's really scary when you had to go through something hard and you don't want it to happen to one of your loved ones. Well, that's why Aiden is going to be a good big brother. And look at these drawings. Oh, man, this looks good. Let's jump right into our story. When Aiden was born, everyone thought he was a girl. His parents gave him a pretty name. His room looked like a girl's room. And he wore clothes that other girls liked wearing. And look, you can see Aiden at the table, little mad. He broke this little fairy princess wand, really not liking all this girly stuff. 
But as Aiden got bigger, he hated the sound of his name. Now we're not talking about the name Aiden, we're talking about Aiden's old name that his parents gave him when they thought he was a girl. He hated the sound of it because it's a girl's name and he's a boy. He felt like his room belonged to someone else and he always ripped or stained his clothes accidentally on purpose. Have you ever done something accidentally on purpose? Maybe you're mad at someone and uh, you see one of their toys and you break it accidentally on purpose. Well, that's what Aiden was doing with his clothes. Everyone thought maybe he's just a different kind of girl. Some girls had rooms full of science experiments and bug collections. Lots of girls didn't wear dresses, right? Not all girls like girly stuff. Maybe Aiden is just a different kind of girl. But was that true for Aiden? But Aiden didn't feel like any kind of girl. He was really just another kind of boy. Ooh, and he cut off all his hair. It was hard to tell his parents, but what he knew about himself, but it was even harder not to. It's really hard to not act like yourself. It took everyone some time to adjust, and they learned a lot from other families with transgender kids like him. So luckily Aiden's not alone. Aiden explored different ways of being a boy. He tried out lots of names until one stuck. They changed his bedroom into a place where he belonged. He also took much better care of his new clothes. So I guess when Aiden is able to be more like himself, he maybe starts acting like, ah, this is where I wanna be. I think some of us can connect to that. Then one day, mom and dad had something to tell him. And I know some of us have been in this situation. Mr. DJ remembers this situation very clearly for him. I'm going to have a baby, mom announced. A, a baby? Aiden said. Does, does that mean I get to be a big brother? Of course, said dad, ruffling his hair. Aiden thought that being a big brother was an important job for a boy like him. He wanted to make sure this baby would feel understood right away. Hmm, that's what you do, right? When you're the older sibling, you wanna make sure that the new baby knows what's up, right? You wanna make sure that the new baby has an easier time of it, right? Cause You've been around the block a couple times. Listen, I'm a big brother, I know. The baby needed clothes, so Aiden and his mom went shopping. There were so many choices. Would the baby like seahorses or penguins better? Do you like seahorses or penguins better? Seahorses, right? Are you having a boy or a girl? Asked the lady. Aiden didn't like it when people asked if he was a boy or a girl, and he hoped the baby couldn't hear you. He was glad when mom just smiled and said, I'm having a baby, right? Because Aiden doesn't want someone else to tell the baby who they are going to be, right? The baby's room needed to be painted so Aiden and his dad went to the hardware store. Dad chose a gallon of sky blue paint. Aiden added a puffy cloud white. Are you excited for your new brother or sister? Asked the paint guy. I'm excited to be a big brother, Aiden said. The paint guy looked confused. Aiden could tell that he wanted to ask a different question and was glad to have his dad there. So even now, we can see kind of what's going on in the picture with the paint guy. Even now, people are still wondering if Aiden is a boy or a girl, and Aiden is a boy. 
And so it makes him feel a little bad when pe people kind of, you know, treat him weird. It makes us all feel, feel bad. We don't like to be stared at, you know? The big rollers were fun to paint with. This room feels just like being outside, Aiden exclaimed. He had always felt trapped in his bedroom before they fixed it, but his new sibling wouldn't have to feel that way. You're right, said Dad. Let's make some shapes in the clouds. Hmm, do you notice any shapes in the clouds? Let's see, I see a dog. I see a dolphin. I see a seagull. Hmm, do you see anything else? Very cool. I wish my room was painted with clouds. Every baby needs a name. Aiden loved getting to choose his own, but he remembered that it had been hard for his parents to let go of the name that they had given him before. Remember, Aiden didn't really like his old name. And it was hard for his parents to say, all right, Aiden, what name do you want? He looked for names that could fit this new person no matter who they grew up to be. Babies need someone to read to them. Oh, yeah. So Aiden practiced and practiced and practiced. Dad wanted to teach Aiden how to change diapers. Um, maybe later, said Aiden. He decided that picking flowers for his mom was more important. So we can kind of see some of the ways that Aiden is already a good big brother even before the baby shows up, right? Aiden is practicing his reading so he can be a good reader. Aiden is making sure that the baby has lots of options for names, man. I'll say Mr. DJ wasn't thinking about it this much when he became a big brother. But I think this baby is going to really, really, really feel loved when they come into the world. Two weeks before the baby's due date, Aiden started to worry. Maybe he shouldn't have picked different clothes. The blue walls might be too bright. He wished he could ask the baby which name they liked best. Ooh, I like Aiden's blanket. It's a cool red animals on there. Mom came to tuck him in. Are you feeling okay, sweetie? She asked. Aiden put his hands over where he thought the baby's ears would be. Do you think... The baby will be happy with everything, he whispered. I don't want him to feel like I did when I was little. But what if I get everything wrong? What if I don't know how to be a good big brother? Mom hugged him tight. When you were born, we didn't know that you were going to be our son. We made some mistakes, but you helped us fix them. And you taught us how important it is to love someone for exactly who they are. This baby is so lucky to have you, and so are we. The next morning, Aiden found the boxes of his old baby pictures. Have you ever seen your old baby pictures? I bet you guys were very cute. He looked so different back then. It hadn't been easy, but he liked the boy he was growing into. Maybe everything wouldn't be perfect for this baby. Maybe he would have to fix mistakes he didn't even know he was making. And maybe that was okay. Aiden knew how to love someone. And that was the most important part of being a brother. And we can see the baby is born. And oh my goodness, the baby is so cute. Wrapped up like a little mummy. 
the end. Oh my goodness. I hope you like the story. Man, I'm really feeling this book. And let me tell you, this book I think is really, really cool and especially important. It reminds me of our book we read, Hey Black Child. Do you remem remember that book? And we talked about all the wonderful things that black children will grow up to be when they have the opportunity, right? And Aiden is special because he knows who he is in some way, and he is able to advocate for himself, and he is able to make the way for someone smaller than them so that they will be able to advocate for, the, for themselves. So while I have read lots of stories to you about beautiful black families and about young black people who will grow up to be wonderful black adults, I haven't read a lot of books to you about young black transgender people. And when we say that black lives matter, we mean all black lives. And black transgender lives matter as well. Aiden's story matters and I'm so glad that I got to share it with you. Thank you my friends for enjoying the story. Have a great day and have a great summer. Oh my goodness, bye bye. Today's story was called When Aiden Became a Brother, written by Kyle Lukoff and illustrated by Kehlani Juanita. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye. See you.